Hey everyone, I just wanted to come on today to, um, I wanted to read an essay or a poem, if that's what you want to call it. One, of, It must be one of my all-time favourite poems. Um, I'm just going to read it to you. If you want to listen, you can do. If, you, if you're not interested, you don't have to listen. But I think it's still as true today as when I heard it. The first time. It's also a cover by Basil Ehrman, but this is the originality of it. This is the origin of where it comes from. Um, and it's by a lady called Mary Schmidt. Advice like youth, probably just wasted on the young. Inside every adult looks a graduation speaker dying to get out. Some world-weary pundit eager to pontificate on life to young people who'd rather be rollerbladed. Most of us, alas, will never be invited to sow our words of wisdom among an audience of caps and gowns. But there's no reason we can't entertain ourselves by composing a guide to life for graduates. I encourage anyone over 26 to try this and thank you for indulging my attempt. Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 97, Wear sunscreen. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. The long-term benefits of sunscreen have been provided and proved by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own Miranda experience. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until they've faded. But trust me, in 20 years, you'll look back at photos of yourself and recall it away you can't grasp now, how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You are not as fat as you imagine. Don't worry about the future or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never cross your worried mind. The kind that blindside you at 4pm on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Sing. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long. And in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember compliments you receive. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old love letters. Throw away your old bang statements. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. Get plenty of calcium, be kind to your knees. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll marry, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40, maybe you'll dance a funky chicken on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself either. Your choice is a half chance and so are everybody else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance even if you have nowhere to do it but your living room. Read the directions even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. Get to know your parents. You never know when they're gone for good. Be nice to your siblings. They're your best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand the friends come and go, but a precious few you should hold on to. We're a cat to bridge the gaps in geography and lifestyle, because the older you get, the more you need the people who knew you when you were young. You live in New York City once, but leave before it makes you hard. Live in Northern Carolina once, but leave before it makes you soft. Travel, accept certain inalienable truths. Prices will rise, politicians will philander. You too will get old, and when you do, you'll fantasize of when you were young. Prices were reasonable, politicians were noble, and children respected their elders. 
respect your relatives. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you have a trust fund. Maybe you have a wealthy spouse. But you never know when either one might run out. Don't mess too much with your hair or by the time you're 40, it would look 8 or 5. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be patient with those that supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia. Dispending it, dispensing it is a way of fishing the pest from the disposal, wiping it off, painting all the other parts, and recycling it for more than it's worth. But trust me on the sunscreen. And that was written by Mary Schmidt, and this is all her own work. I take no, um, I take no credit for it. I'm just reading out a piece of her work. She owns all the rights. Um, and I'll put it below so there's no need for my friendly stalker to get excited and, you know. <laughs> so I just thought I'd share that with you because I really love that. It's one of my all-time faves and it's something that stands the test of time. It's still as relevant now as it was when I heard it when I was like, what was I then? About 10, 12, whatever. And... What I think is that things don't really change. History repeats itself. And I think people don't really change. The different skins, but it's the same sort of personalities. That's what I think. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd share that with you. And like I say, um, I haven't written this. I'm not pretending that I have or whatever. I just want to read it out because I think it's a beautiful piece of writing. Okay, thanks for listening. Hope you're all well. Okay, bye-bye.